Okay, uh, this is part nine in our video series on creating a video game. Um, okay, so we've got all this set up. We're launching objects. We're going to create a separate camera right now um, that looks over a player model's shoulder. So that's going to be the objective of this video. Uh, I'm going to start by um, adding a model in. I'm going to go File, Import. I'm going to choose an OBJ, and once again, you can use anything you'd like for this. If you're not in my class, you won't have access to this particular model archive under that class's Blender Resources, Blender Models. I'm going to go to Cartoons, and I'll go ahead and I'll choose the Goomba. I'm taking a look at that. You can see that one's 46 kilobytes. It's a nice small size. It's going to work well. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll import that. Now, um, with some of these models that we have, I had students go in using Google SketchUp Pro, um, format the object so that they opened up nicely in Blender. Um, you have to hold down Shift because sometimes um, they may have separate pieces and you want to make sure the entire model is one joined piece before you do anything with it. So I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to right click somewhere on my model. Now after doing that, you can see that one part of the model became a lighter color than the rest after shift and right clicking on it. That means that we have separate pieces in this model. So we want to join everything together that was brought in. So I'm going to hit control when one piece is a lighter color than the rest. I'm going to hit control J. And that's going to, you can see the whole thing is now one color, a light color. It's an active selective object. Everything has now been joined. If you can pull pieces apart from the model that you've brought in, that may, that's usually not a good thing, especially when you're dealing with like a player model uh, for our purposes here. So I'm going to right click on the empty and I'm going to hit Shift S and I'm going to snap cursor to selected. And then I'm going to select the model and I'm going to hit Shift S and I'm going to go selected to cursor, selection to cursor. And that's going to jump him up there. I'm going to hit period on the number pad to zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate him around. I'm going to hit R. And then Z. I'm going to spin him around so he's roughly facing the same direction as our camera. And then I'm going to pull him back a little bit. Okay. And, you know, that's, that's about right. I'm going to size him down, too. All right. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to make sure that because our empty here is launching objects, you want to make sure your player object is not out in front of that. Okay. So I put the player object here. Um, and we try to launch objects from the empty, it's going to interfere. So I'm going to put it back a little bit so it doesn't get in the way. And then we're going to parent it to the camera. So I'm going to hit Shift. I'm going to select the camera. Let's go ahead and zoom out here. All right. And uh, I'm going to make sure the camera is a lighter color. I'm going to hit Control P. And we're going to set parent to the um, camera. Okay. So if I hit P to play, um, I can now move back, forth, up, down. And I'm moving the mouse around. You can see that. The next step is to create a separate camera and uh, create a, a third person view. So I'm going to put the cursor behind my model somewhere and I'm going to go add and I'm going to choose camera. And in order to look through this, okay, if I hit zero right now, it's going to look through the original active camera, but we want to set this new camera to be active so we can look through it. So I'm going to hold down control with the new camera selected. I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to hit zero on the number pad. And that's going to let us look through the selected camera. Now this camera is active for the scene. I'm going to hit R twice. I'm going to move my camera up. And I'm going to hit R once. And I'm going to spin it around. And now I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the player model. And I'm going to hit control P to parent. Okay, now if I hit P to play, I've got um, my new camera parented over the shoulder of the model, and I'm effectively working in third person. Um, that is the goal of this particular um, tutorial, just to get the camera parented and over the shoulder of the model. Um, in the next lesson, we'll just go through and create a simple toggle in game so the player will be able to switch. Um, camera views using the 1, 2, and 3 button um, on the keyboard. So that's it for this. If you've got that set up, you are ready for the next video.